Well, it is time to prune blackberries. And uh, as you can see, they've come out of my trellis, huh? About some of them, about a, over a foot. So I'm gonna be pruning the tops of them. I'm gonna prune at four feet. Uh, you know, you can prune at three feet, four feet, five feet. It's really up to you. Uh, the taller they get, the more likely they are to fall over. So I don't want them to get too tall because when I prune them, they're gonna start forming those laterals and the laterals is where they make a lot of leaves and they will make most of their blackberries. So even though it's only four feet tall, it could be chock full of uh, vegetation and berries, which makes them pretty heavy. And the vegetation is gonna make it basically a sail if winds come. So easily blown over if you're not careful. So let's go ahead and prune some of these. I've showed you before on other videos. This is my container garden, as most of you I'm sure can see. And it's, um, it's time to prune blackberries. Let's do that. This particular one is about four feet tall. I think I just took my measurement of it. You don't have to measure these. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes, but it's, uh, it's about one inch shy of four feet, about 48, uh, 47 inches tall. So what I'm gonna do is just pinch the top of it off. Let me see if I can get a good close shot of that. So right here on the top, you'll see the, the growing tip. That's where it's gonna continue to grow up. And I just wanna pinch that off, as easy as that. Now, I got one over here, a little uh, further down, that's quite a bit taller than this. And I may have to use a little uh, pruning shear scissor on it. This is the same way, it's about four feet tall. I'm gonna take that top, just that little part right there off of it, right there. When they're real small like that, they pinch off easily. It's something you can do with your fingers, uh, especially if you've got a fingernail. I don't have any, but so it pinches off real easy. And I'll tell you why you're gonna do this later, but let's, let's pinch a couple more. Now this one has gotten quite a bit above four feet tall. Four feet for this one is about right there. I'm gonna try to keep these uniform. So instead of pinching that off, cause it might work, but it also might, it might leave a string when you pinch it and therefore uh, uh, injure the plant. So I'm just gonna take and cut it off like that. Now at this point, I can strip these off put that in soil, potting mix, real loose mix, and begin a propagation process. This time of year is not great. Summer is not a great time to propagate because it's just too hot. But um, it can be done. I have done it in the past. I've got a, an entire playlist on propagation. You need to check out that if you're interested in free plants because that's what this will give you, free plants. So there's my four foot uh, mark on this tallest one. I've got another one over here that's pretty tall. Let's. Uh, Let's go over there and get it too. Okay, again, since I'm trying to trying to maintain somewhat of a, a uniformity here, I'm gonna go ahead and measure four feet. Four feet is right there. You certainly don't have to do that. I usually do not do that. <laughs> it's just I'm growing now in a different, I'm, I've got a new trellis, I'm growing in containers. I'm just, uh, a lot of this is, uh, is new for me. I've grown blackberries for years, but it's kind of new for me to grow in containers. So there's that. And I could try to propagate that. Not sure if I will yet. If I do, I'll let you know. But just pull the leaves off of it. Leave a little bit on top. You don't want it to grow leaves. You want it to grow roots. So that's, the, uh, that's what you would propagate right there. So that's how you prune blackberries. Now, let me zero in on a couple of these and show you uh, the difference before and after. So I don't know if you can see that real well, but see that little lateral growth right there? In tomatoes, we would call that a sucker. But what we're gonna do with that, that little dude right there is going to grow out and become a whole new blackberry branch that is going to uh, really put on the blackberries. So I'm, well, the reason I'm showing it to you now is because I want to show it to you later. And uh, so you can see that and see how small it is right now. Whether I'm focusing, I'm out in the bright sun. It's just hard to, hard to tell whether, whether I'm focusing right or not. 
So, uh, as you can see, they're about an inch long, and I'll give you an update in about a week or so, so be sure and subscribe and ring the bell, get all the, the notices, the updates, and uh, same way with this one here. It's got a few laterals, but uh, they are going to start really getting long. The pruning process encourages those laterals to grow, encourages the blackberries to grow, because the blackberries, as I said before, most of the blackberries are gonna grow on your laterals. So you're getting more blackberries like this. You're managing the height of your plants, which is good for them falling over and, and having other problems. And um, so that's, that's why you do it, but I'm gonna show you the results later on about how it looks, how the, uh, the whole process looks and how that starts taking off because that will start really growing now uh, if you haven't seen my blackberries in the past this is my first year to do containers and i am just uh, completely impressed these are self-wicking tubs and uh, on the end is an earth box i'm trying experimenting with an earth box and hopefully that will be uh hopefully the earth box will uh will do a good job i may convert uh, completely to earth boxes i don't know use these blue ones for vegetables or something else uh, the, the earth boxes will last a long long time and i'm not sure how long these blue tubs are going to last i've heard five to seven years and uh earth boxes will last you know 10 15 20 years so that's why i've got an experiment with an earth box uh, and i'm just experimenting between the between the two systems the earth box system and the um uh, self wicking tub system if you don't know what a self wicking tub is look up there right about there right about now and i'll show you how i built these and uh, i've already got some red berries and um, i have got to put up a bird netting because i noticed the birds are very very interested i've got several that are about to turn pretty red so i really next couple of days i got to get that uh, oh my goodness well, how did that bird miss that? He is, it's not quite ready. It's just not quite ready. It's still got a little red on it. Under that leaf in the shade, it looked black, but when I pulled it up in the sun, it looks red. So tomorrow, the bird doesn't get that. <laughs> Tomorrow's, that one's mine. Uh, tomorrow the next day, it doesn't take but a day or two. Uh, once they start turning like that, and that's a nice size berry. That's an inch and a quarter long. Really nice size berry. I hope you can Hope you can see it well enough. And uh, but these are Prime Arc Freedom blackberries. All of them except the one in the earth box. The one in the earth box is a uh, Wachita. Pronounced Wachita starts with a Q. Q U A C H I T A. And uh, I've grown them in the past. They they produce a big berry, a sweet berry, really nice. But they just didn't reproduce themselves. Uh, as well but this time in this earth box that's a brand new cane got a brand new cane over there so they're reproducing themselves pretty good over here so we'll see how that goes but i just wanted to show you the uh, the pinching the pruning of the blackberries and at some point when those really get filled out and those laterals start to come out that is going to be a, a hedge of blackberries at least i predict that it will so you come back and see if i predicted wrong prune your blackberries you'll get more production out of them they're more manageable several good good reasons to prune your blackberries so do it and we are gone